got God. I've got God. I've got God. We should be happier. We're gonna play something. Read something. You should be happier. Hi. I thank you for giving me your trust and some of your time to see this piece. In this video, I will refresh you on how to install the interim Ubuntu 23.10 on VMware Workstation on a Windows PC. I recommend that you connect your PC to a power source. You should have sufficient, stable and fast internet connection. You should have a modern or good processor on your PC. Over 8 gigabytes of RAM are pluses for the virtual machine. I'm using Windows 11 to do the demonstration for you. We go online. We look for Ubuntu desktop download. This is the one we want. We click We go, we open VMware Workstation. I have a video here that is a guide on how to download and install VMware Workstation Pro on a Windows PC. May you take a look at it if you have not installed VMware Workstation Pro yet. And when you install the Workstation Pro, you get the player as well. And if you have the means, I recommend you buy the VMware Workstation Pro. We right-click to run as administrator. We say yes. For you to see this window, you need to click tabs and click go to home tab. And click this. Next. We leave this next. Make sure Linux is selected and you can select Ubuntu 64 bit. Click next. Name it what you want. Pick where you want to save it on your PC. Click OK. Click next. Save as a single file. Depending on the space on your host windows computer and what you want to use the virtual ubuntu for that's what you should have in mind when you give it this size we click next we click customize the two processors are okay we can up these to eight and this will depend on your RAM too. But for even two we run. Let me not discourage you. Let's leave it on four so that you don't get you don't panic. We click here. We go to where the ISO image is downloaded to we click we open it not we can leave the network on not this is okay sound card make sure sound card is here in case you don't see it here click add and click finish any other thing that is required here that you don't see you can add it and click finish the sound card is what we need to play YouTube podcast and all that. Then we say enable echo cancellation. Close. We say finish. We click edit again. We click options. 
for power we have to select full screen mode when we turn it on this is good good we say okay here i want to bring this to your notice you see the hard disk is scsi it's not SATA. If you want SATA, you can click this. You can remove the hard disk here. You can then click Add, select hard disk, click Next. You can see you can choose any option you want. The reason is on SCSI is because it's recommended. If you want SATA, you can do this. Click Next. Click Create a new virtual disk. Say as a single file. This allocate all disk space now means if you give the virtual ubuntu let's say 256 and you select this and say next it will take over an hour to create the storage for the ubuntu and that means the ubuntu will get that storage for itself but if you don't click this the 256 will be used as you work on the virtual machine you decide what you want do you want the size you have allotted it to go completely to the virtual machine or you want it to use up as you use the virtual machine we don't want to give this whole space to the virtual machine so we don't click this we just say next we say finish you see now the hard disk is SATA but if you just want the recommended you can remove it click add leave it on hard disk click leave it on recommended click create we say single you can locate all the size here to the virtual machine or you can choose not then you click next you say finish you see it's back to that recommended disk type we click ok We can run it here or here. Use your cursor, place it anywhere on the screen and click. Then you can use the keys on your keyboard, like the up and down arrow key. Now, make sure is on try or install ubuntu and click and press install ubuntu Keep your PC from sleeping and wait for it to show the installer.
select the language that applies to you you can just use your cursor to do this to scroll up and down until you find your language or you can press the first letter of your language on the keyboard let's say english we press c is back we can just click english and click next we want to install ubuntu we go for this we click next pick the type of keyboard that you want you can also use the key on your keyboard to pick the type of keyboard you want we just do e and go back to or we can scroll like this another option here is to click you can see detect you click then it will tell you to press any of this on your keyboard let's press y then it says to press w we do that we just say no we just say no no see it detected that you have US English keyboard then you can just say next you need wired connection you say you leave it on that and click next you have to click this but once you click to update the installer it will take you back to where you have to select your language an order we just did we click to update it all right you just take less than two minutes we just say We click to restart the installer, not the Ubuntu. This is the only thing that we restart. So you click restart. Again, choose your language. Click, click. Here we do full installation and we check these two. We do next. you can leave it on this or you can do manual partitioning and click next partition the disk if you want and click next or we just leave it on this we can click advanced features and select this if you want to encrypt the disk you can do this but we just say okay we just do next we say install you can pick your region or country you can type it you can do like on the keyboard you can do this then it will give you what to pick another way to do this is just to click on the map you see 
you can click on the map enter your name give the Ubuntu the name you want we can just say then pick a username pick a password remember this password you need this password to log into your ubuntu and you need it to run the sudo commands the super do commands then you can turn this off if you don't want to log in with this password we leave it on this index you can see that even this installation team is new just like when you install Mac OS on VirtualBox or VMware you see the chance to pick light or dark team so this is new that came with the interim Ubuntu 23.10 and you can see even before we complete the installation before we have activities here but now we just have this flat icon and this tiny one you can go for light or dark and you can pick any color you want here I like light. We click next. Is installing the system now. This is graphical of what we see when we type upgrade or update on the terminal and you can even click this click you can see that is what is running here is what you see here on the terminal see and as always after the installation phase it will start to set it up you can choose to off the terminal view and just go for the graphical view. You just click here. See. Oh, like this. Then look at this. He says Ubuntu 23.10.1. That's what is installing now. But that wasn't what we downloaded that was in the ISO image we downloaded so don't let this get you after we successfully install the Ubuntu we get to run the commands to update it to 10. depending on your internet speed this will take 20 to an hour or less
keep your PC from sleeping. You can see he's showing you what's happening on the terminal. Then if we switch to graphics, see this is what just what we see. <laughs> but if you want to see what's going on, you click this. You can see that the installing part is done with, it's now setting up the system. See the installing part is complete, it's now setting up the system. After this, it will restart and we can complete the installation. See. Now before we restart we can press Alt, go out and click VM, click settings, click on this CD slash DVD SATA and remove it click OK, 
press then restart or you can just continue without testing then later you can after you remove the ISO image as we shortly did you really have to wait is getting it done, just have some more patience. One thing to do at this point is to press Control Alt again. Remember you have removed the you have removed the I saw image and you clicked OK. Now you can just power it off. And restart. See. Once you remove the ISO image after that first phase of the installation and setup, you can just reboot it and wait. Wait 10 to 15 minutes, then it will show you where you can log in. Remember the password. I like to know what you want to use your Ubuntu for, please. And where did you watch the video from? Here, we just wait. Don't do anything yet, just wait. Yeah. Here, if you want to set up these accounts, you can go on, but just skip for now. If you want to send system info to Canonica, this is the option or you pick this, you click next. Click wait. If you want to turn on location services, just click. Oh. click on see this is the new Ubuntu 23.10 we right click to see the background Here you see it says updated software has been issued since Ubuntu 23.10 was released. Do you want to install it now? Say install now.
see. Now, if there are apps you want on the dock or on the dash, you can right click and pin to dash. Before, we have add to favorites, but now they change it to pin to dash. Let's pin these settings to dash. We click, see, it says it has been pinned to the dash. We have to restart. Let's check other things. We can click users. We can click unlock. Enter the password. Press enter. You can change this. If later you have picture that you want to show here, you can click select file and pick it from anywhere you have it on your Ubuntu. Right now no such pictures. Here we do click and we give it any image we want. We click about you can see operating system it says Ubuntu 23.10 when we click system details you see virtualization is VMware if it's Oracle virtual box it will show Oracle here you can see the new genome 45.0 the OS type is 64 then you see the OS name is Ubuntu 23.10 so the installation was successful now we will restart restart now we click this Press enter. We enter password. We click, click here. We bring the terminal. Press Control L to clear the terminal. And run sudo app of day and press enter. Enter the password of the Ubuntu you picked earlier and press enter. We 
use the we press the arrow key on the keyboard then we delete and write grade upgrade and press enter see so we are good and let's we can right click on this and pin it to dash This is the new app center, we click it. They use Flutter to build this app center. And Flutter is based on Kotlin. Kotlin is a programming language. Both Flutter and Kotlin are from Google. Here we can look for app that we want to install. We press enter. We click this. This also shows the internet is working that's fast. We open it. Let's search for a podcast. they all connect, you know that money can also be complicated. Where can you get the bottom line on the latest topics and trends in personal finance so you don't miss out on opportunities that could make your money work harder? See, the Tune sound the works. Financial. Hosted by Gene Chatsky, a financial journalist and best-selling New York Times author with a unique ability to cut to the noise and simplify things. Um, for the Everyday podcast wealth, to play it tells you that the internet is working, but let's test it on Firefox. See, the internet works. Follow what we did earlier in the video and your Ubuntu should be okay. May you recommend did I miss any step? Is there a better way to do it? Give feedback, please. Let's know your location in the world. What will you use your Ubuntu for? Do you foresee Linux taking over ahead of Microsoft, Chrome, 
MacBook and the other operating systems. Give your comment, opinion in the comment, please. And I will appreciate if you subscribe. Let's test the sound. On. Wednesday. This wasn't regular shopping. This was. See. The internet, the sound is working. Let's click this. In case you didn't get a full screen, you can click displays and for resolution you can click here and select the resolution of your host windows. My host windows computer the size is 1920 by 1080. You can see that it automatically picked that. In case yours did not install full screen, this is where to come. Go to settings, click display, click resolution, and pick the size of your screen. Let's say my size is this. I just click it. I click apply. I keep, I say keep changes. But I want it back, so I just I'll click here, click 1920 by 1080. I click apply. See, I keep changes. Click, click this place to install VMware tools is already taken care of that's why it shows reinstall vmware tools that means it's already installed see so get the full screen if during the installation you didn't have full screen just go to settings click displays click displays click resolution um pick the dimension for your host windows computer and you should have full screen just the more you use it the more familiar you will be with how it works desktop now let me just change the background to the official one. This one. Then we click appearance. If you want to change where this appears, you can do bottom C or you can do right. See that? It's in settings under Ubuntu desktop. See? Let's take it back to left. Show personal folder. This is for this one. If you don't want this here, you can just see. It's not responding. If you want, we can turn this off. Then we can go small. See how small it is. We can go large. See. We can go tiny. See. I don't know why this is not responding. It's supposed to sh change from there but it's not 
we have to report to Ubuntu to change it to normal. We can just turn it off. Then this one we can see. Oh, you can do see. Another thing we can do is to open see that we have two we have terminal and folder open at the same time we can then open this at the bottom mm -mm. you can do vertical and horizontal but that's not what we want we want for good this timing is open here the app center is open here good then see we have files here terminal we have settings and we have absent uh, i believe we could do this in the older editions of ubuntu then let's see the other the other desktop see you can create backup especially that this is virtual machine if you are afraid you will lose some important files you can just create backup See, you can connect Google Drive. You can connect OneDrive, Network Server, Local Folder. Just play with it to become familiar with it. does that in this refresher video I reminded you of how to install the interim Ubuntu on VMware workstation on a Windows PC and I use Windows 11 computer to do the demonstration for you Here we can just do LSB release space and press end. You can see that the installation was successful. We have installed Ubuntu 23.10 on VMware workstation on a Windows PC. And this PC is Windows 11 and you can see that here we have the releases 2310 and the code name is mantic is successful again may you give feedback tag share follow and subscribe please thank you again for your trust and your time